So let's talk about how we can use Notion on the iPad with the Apple Pencil. Let's get into it. So if you're using the Apple Pencil, you can use it for basic moving around the app, right? You can scroll through the pages, or even if you have some, but like a bunch of text on it, right? What you can do is like to select, circle it and like select the text or whatever, right? So if there are some options, however, most likely you would love to use it for drawing, which for a really, you know, in a notion, it's very limited, right? But there are some very nice workarounds which you could technically use, right? So if you open up Safari, there are some pages or whiteboard websites. And basically once you just set it up like this, you can just copy the link and then when you return back to Notion, you can essentially just embed that link. So when you click on paste, you have the ability to paste it as uh, or click on embed right there. And since it's like an online whiteboard uh, type of stuff, you know, it's going to appear once it loads up, it's going to appear as a working tool where you can basically just draw directly inside of this using this embedded tool. But as I say, this is just a workaround and it's not going to work the best. Well, Notion hasn't really been designed with this intention of using Apple Pencil in mind. Right. And another possibility is to use a different app and then import it inside of Notion. Like, for example, if you start a brand new like Notion, I mean, um, at the Apple Notes document or whatever, then you can easily just draw in it or whatever you want. And then when you click on share, you get to save that copy in your Notion. And therefore, all of the things which you have used your Apple Pencil for, all of the drawings and everything will be saved as image in your Notion. So this is kind of how it works. Let me know below in the comments what you think about it. There aren't that many ways how you can use the Apple Pencil. So I'm at least showing you what is possible. So thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more and I'm going to catch you in the next one.